happening. I'm trapped in a storm. How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. So surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. These I'm in class. Everything's cool. You know, I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <laughs> there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in I a dark I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. And any one of you but could do that I like it old school. Isn't that too easy? My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? And I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. She could have taken another approach. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I do love I my analog camera. Robert Frank. I should take a quick picture Thank now. You, he captured the essence of post-war beat America, and there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era. But a shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, 
making them extremely popular from the 1800s. Sorry, 1800s. Max. No more selfies right now. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a set. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. I just worked so hard in the shop, and I'm sure. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. I like this panoramic view of Blackwell. Everything looks so green and serene. Huh, this might make a cool shot. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Man, 
and he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Just getting you you right. Welcome to the cute. real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special oh, picture and try to find you. Because Max wants everybody to see how he she is. He plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. These missing persons posters are popping up American girls, it's sad to imagine a world without you. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. Girls, I'd like to be part of the world around you. Driving a car by the seaside. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. To all of you, I love that picture of mom and dad. Girl, Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally no fabulous as usual. That's Dana talking to, I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Stella is always deep in her nose. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I, cry sometimes. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Somewhere around the mountains, no one could try her fountain. 
It looks like she's been gone for months. That's when I fly. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. I wonder what actually happened to her. Good thing I left my AK at home. You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. To all of you American girls, it's sad to imagine. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Like oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. Watching the world from the bright side. Yeah. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. To all of you, American girls in the movies, no one can. There's the lighthouse again. American girls like Dolly. Yay, Halloween. It's my favorite time of year. He's cute. I, I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. American girlfriend. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. I wonder what actually happened to her. Blackwell sure takes its swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go otters. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. That's when I fly. Samuel is such a weirdo, but I kind of like that about him. Nerd alert, this poster has Warren written all over it. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> now who would bother to write that crap? I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you.
This poster must drive people to have sex. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I've got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot believe who perfectly this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why are? I did now. it. Can you give I me actually an did it. A photographer who perfectly captured the human, human time machine. And white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Diane. freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? <laughs> because of her Keep it together, and Max. Faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. question. If he does again, I'll notice this for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Portrait has been popular I can since tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? 
I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again Bulgarian process and give him the right answer? Fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 18th. Uh, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so... Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! Wowzer, it's happening again. I need a hammer to break it open. We're going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. No. If I can reverse time again, no, 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 I can no. help her. Tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! I'm 
another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um... Female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm... I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Nathan Prescott, please. 